Okay, well, here's a little itty-bitty nest. At least something close to it. Down over here. Man, this is all a much, like, especially a hodgepodge around these parts. They are not very succinct with, uh, you know, all these cobwebs and everything else, you know? Okay. Good. Nothing's gonna nab me. They will not spawn, which is awesome. All this string I'm taking because I need them for arrows, eventually for the Ender Dragon. That is essential. This is essential stuff around here. I'm gonna grab all these. Now, if I were a smart man, I would not destroy this spawner because I could use it as a... I don't know, whatever. Like, oh, I can get a bunch of XP by doing this, but is that really worth my time? Probably not. So, I'm probably gonna destroy it. Brandino would be very mad at me. But that's just going to have to be how it is, essentially. Yep. And navigating all through here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Nice. I got stuck. Great. Ooh, there's another chest. Cool. Please be something good. Maybe a saddle. Saddle. A golden apple. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Okay. Golden apples are certainly helpful. Um, actually, no, they're not, because nuggets surrounded by an apple makes a golden nugget. Or, rather, nuggets surrounding an apple makes a golden apple. Glowberries, I got a name tag. Nice. All right. So, calcite, bam. Going to take that name tag, and that is at least one right there. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so I found a new type of area underground, along with another chest. Cool. But you know what I have not found? Is more diamonds. It's like the most difficult thing. I guarantee you I'm going to find netherite infinitely easier than I'm ever going to find another name tag. Nice. Ooh, pumpkin seeds. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Ooh, okay, all right. Guarantee you I'm going to find netherite, like I said, that much easier than I'm ever going to find this stuff. It's just so... I don't know why it's so difficult. Where is the zombie spawner, dude? Really? Seriously? Um, the thing that I found is this over here. This is a, a lush cavern, I believe. It's a new type of cavern for this update that I have not seen before, even in uh, any other playthrough or anything. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, the glow berries around here make it all illuminated, which is super cool. There. Wow. Look at that. Look at this cave. It's beautiful. This is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Is there the... Dude, if I died, dude, if I died, and there's lava down, I'm not even, I'm not even going to look down there, dude. I'm not even going to look down there, my guy. No, sir. Is this sand? What is it? Oh, it's clay. Oh, it's clay. Oh, wow. Okay. Where'd that diamond go? Oh, right here. All right, cool. Diamond, give me faint one. Are you serious? I have two. I have two of the whole thing. All right, so this is really nice. I like this cavern a lot. There may be a future Brian where I do a playthrough of a cave like this because it's just so it's just so pretty. It looks so nice. So I am still way underground, like right. I'm like negative seven underground. So I don't think is that the surface. That is the surf. It's getting there to the surface. So I'm not gonna go that way. But this is pretty swanky. All right. So all these things here. I don't actually have room for. Oh, that's beetroot seeds. I'm sorry. I thought that was something else. Uh, so that's a big drip leaf. Let's go with this. That's a flowering azalea. Uh, can I take these? I think I can take these. So I believe it just takes one of these blocks right here, the moss block. And then if I put bone meal on it, I believe it actually spreads, which is really cool. So I'm going to take one of those with me. Uh, glowberries, I don't actually have any of those. So I'm going to take one of those with me as well. Swap it out for the spider eye, because why not? Uh, glowberries, I do not believe, serve any... Ooh, look at that. Do you see the little snuck little diamond right in there? Sneaky, sneaky. Cheeky, cheeky over here. Um, I don't believe they serve any other purpose other than to just look cool. You can eat them, but they're probably not super good for you. And by super good for you, I mean they're probably not that useful. Look at how beautiful this is. It looks so pretty. It's all glowy and just... It, it feels very homey, you know? So I'm definitely going to... Who's trying to shoot me? Oh, you're trying to shoot me. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to come back here 
and get a whole lot more of the... Why are you walking so fast? Relax. Um, gonna have to grab a lot more of these supplies eventually, man, because these are very, very cool. So the moss block, like I said, if you bone meal it, I believe it spreads. So that'll be something worth exploring at some point. But I don't know how much I want to infest. Are axolotls rare? I feel like axolotls are, are rare, aren't they? I don't know. I don't know what kind of, what color axolotl that is. Hold on. Give me a second here. I got to make a crafting table. I got to, I got to see what kind of axolotl this is. I luckily have some, uh, iron on me here. Going to take a little axolotl buddy back with me. Cause why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? Toss that out. And then Mr. Mr. Is that a blue one? Is that a blue one? No, I don't think that's a blue one. The blue ones have like a, what color? Is that white? Blue? The blue axolotls are super rare. Like they have a 5% chance of spawning. I'm pretty sure that's not a blue axolotl, right? I, I can't tell what color that is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Actually, let me look that up right now. Give me a second. Okay, so correction, this is a cyan, a cyan axolotl, okay? So there's two of them here. I might as well take the two, right? It looks like that's the surface. It's totally not, though. We're, we're way deep down, all right? So I'm going to take these two. I'm going to have two, two little itty-bitty buddies. As you know from the Bob SMP, uh, one of them was Declan. Now, am I going to name this one Declan as well? I don't know. What what book is that? I don't even know. The, is that the book of Boba Fett? Where he's not even going to show up in the thing? Anyways, all right. Number one, number two, you two. I don't actually... Oh, I thought this was a, a bouncy block. I'm like, wait, what? Um, I don't know what it'll take to get you two to have more little axolotl babies, but I got two axolotls now. Um, you can only put one in each side of uh, the buckets, so keep that in mind. You can't just have a whole plenty of fish bucket full of uh, axolotls. So yeah, definitely not prepared for this sort of area. Uh, I have notes of it here, obviously, with the coordinates, and I'll have to come back here at some point and get all this stuff because this cave is absolutely gorgeous in every capacity. Uh, there's a whole... Look at all these monsters. Look at all those monsters. I definitely don't want to die right now, that's for sure. So I'm going to keep on moving, persevering through, and hope I don't get caught up in any of these monsters. And it's such a wide open area, too. It, it's just, and the glowberries make it seem so nice. That is the surface right there, right? No. It just looks so illuminated because of all the glowberries. That's so cool. This is so, so cool. I'm so glad I found this. I hope, hopefully you can tell. I mean, I'm, I'm genuinely excited about a lot of things in life, but especially, especially this right now, man. Super cool. So I guess the, the objective is still the same. More diamonds, but I'm, man, I'm pretty far from home, and I'm not even Spider-Man, so I don't know how I'm going to get back. Well, clearly I'm going to get back because I have to, but we have enough stuff here, and by we, I mean actually we now because I got axolotls with me, so we have a lot of stuff with us, so it's kind of worthwhile to get out of here, you know? Uh, I, there's another, I was going to say, if I could find another diamond, it's like, th this is what it's been. One diamond right here. Like, it's just one. A singular un diamonde. And that's it, you know? Oh, this cave might just light on fire. This whole thing is literally about to just burn up. Awesome. Uh, you know, it's, again, it's the fires, you know, nature helping itself. Is that another geode? Wow. Look at all this. Wow. 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 Yes. Yes. So, so incredible. Oh, my goodness. Oh, tip, hip, hip, chitty-o, Batman. Okay, there's one diamond there. If I fall here, am I good? Definitely don't want to risk the axolotl. Is anything going to break? Nope, I'm good. Yoink. Ooh, that was a... Ooh, look at all these diamonds uh, forever. Throw your diamonds in the sky if you... Ooh, look at all this. It's like a giant lava lake. Ooh, this looks like a final boss area for a video game. dun 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 that's supposed to be um Bowser's Castle theme for Mario uh I don't know which but one of the Mario games okay am I in a pickle right here maybe uh 
There we go. As long as I can regain some health, I'm stellar. Actually, wait. This shield is going to be donezo in a second here. I need to run. I was born to run. Yeah, run, run, run. Run, run, run. Don't panic, huh? Don't panic. Don't panic, huh? Don't panic. It's okay. Brian, it's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. You have two axolotls. You got a little bit of diamond here. Everything's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Life is fine. Right? Just grab this. They're still chasing you. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Just lock the doors. Don't look in the sky like before. I don't know the lyrics to that song. It's a Mike Shinoda song that is not relevant to any of you right now because you probably don't listen to that kind of music. I do. I like hip-hop music. What do you like? Do you like some EDM? Do you like some hip hippity hoppities? You know, what's the, what's the standard fare, you know? I don't know, man. Uh, I hear creepers all around me. Okay. 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 Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, they're fighting themselves. It's like Star Wars. It's like the Separatists against the, the Gungans. It's great. It's just, it's awesome. Uh, do I have enough? So I de Okay. Here's the thing. I, oh, this is, mm, this is bad. This is bad. I'm just going to keep running like the base in that, uh, 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 what's that song called? Oh, look at all these diamonds. <laughs> Give me those diamonds. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm just going to keep running. Look at all the diamonds. Look at all of them. All right. I'm like freaking out over the diamonds where that's really not the concern right now. The concern is to not die. The concern is to not die. Now you may say, Brian, why are you running around in a circle? What does this matter to you? Uh, it matters because look at all this. Look at all these chickens, okay? There's clearly a little bit of sus among us, okay? I have to reprioritize this. I need to put this out, okay? I need to find a spot where I can safely exist. And I don't know where that is. So I'm gonna light this way. Okay, I'm gonna, nope, not fall into the lava pit of Bowser. Nope, that literally, literally, factually looks like Bowser, like, lives in the middle of this lake, you know what I mean? It's literally like he lives in the middle of the lake. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna destroy this skeleton over here, okay? I'm gonna destroy this guy, hopefully. Yep, come on, one, 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 there we go, all right. I'm gonna eat up, look at all these chickens, Batman. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Listen. 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 Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm good. Ow. My tailbone hurts because I've been sitting on it for so long. Ow. Gotta get up and stretch. Don't get old, kids. All right. So here's the thing. We're good. We're good. All right. Give me a second. You gotta recompose yourself. All right. Nobody can hurt me right here. Not really. Like, as long as I'm out of sight of the zombies, I'm good. So here's the thing. I don't know what to do. No, I do know what to do. All right. I'm going to mine out a little something right here. And just play it safe for a half second. And then basically, I'm going to make this a semi-small base of operations. All right. So crafting... I've got to, I got to dump this stuff out, basically. Uh, crafting table here. Okay. Crafting table. And now, give me these logs. And I have a couple more of these. I'm going to put a chest. And it's going to be full of stuff that I don't necessarily need right in this moment. All right. So, keep the diamond safe. Axolotls, these. Like, all this stuff, right? So, this gives me room to not only craft myself a new shield, which is imperative actually factually right uh, let's get that new shield going wonderful all right this old shield i'm gonna scrap it because uh, it's not even worth keeping in the party you know what i mean all right so there's this is there anything i need to make boots big time uh boots right here so no more gold ones that's okay all right what else uh pants i can live without that's fine i really wish i could make like um a bow and arrow right now but i don't think i can pull that off right no i can Wait, hold on. These two? Yeah, baby. Let's go. Look at all these. Wait. Arrows? 
Arrows? Really? I can't make arrows. I don't have any things for arrows. All right, cool. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run like I was born to run. And YOLO swag this a little bit, all right? So here's the play. I'm going to dig up here a little bit. Uh, first of all, second of all, third of all, I'm going to place these torches. Boop, boop, right there. And right there, all right? That way I know this is the home base. Obviously, the logs count, right? The logs are what's going to help me out. There's a lot of diamond everywhere, which is excellent. I have plenty of resources for a uh, pickaxe. So I'm good in that regard, right? Let's just survey the area real quick, all right? This looks really cool. So I'm happy I stumbled across the area. Now, nothing is after me because everyone was like, ah, we're just going to go home. No sense in bothering anymore, right? So I have these pickaxes here. Cool. So if I jump down, I should be okay. But I'm just going to keep running with that forward momentum. And I'm all right. So as this shield is basically... This is the thing. This is the great thing. And then I'm good. All right. One, two, three. Boom. There we go. All right. Diamond number one right over here. So just when you think... You're ready to give up and just chalk it all up and walk home. Then you find a couple diamonds like this, all right? So we got another one right here. Bam. Uh, if I happen to find any skeleton, uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 arrows. I'm going to snag those and use them against them, all right? But for right now, just going to maintain momentum. I thought I saw one on one of these areas over here. Uh, and the good thing is, by me placing all these torches over here, they're not going to spawn in the same way they were before, which is wonderful. That's what I want. Uh, like I said before, if there's a light level, uh, one or more, they do not spawn. So even me putting these torches, like, way over here, you may be like, oh, Brian, this is useless. It's actually very useful. Any little bit of light is going to cancel out any zombies or anything from spawning. So that's exactly what you want. So now before, where I was super overwhelmed, and I'm like, wait, there's monsters everywhere. Now there's not monsters everywhere. So that's the key. All right, that's the key. Still not finding, like, clumps of diamonds, unfortunately. It's still just the one. But I know that there's a couple of them uh, looming around here, which is fine. Uh, I saw one of them on the perimeter over there, where Bowser is very clearly in the middle of this lava lake over here, right? We, we can all agree. We can all agree that, like, if I jump into that lake, Bowser... I saw the diamonds, don't worry. We can all agree, if I jump in that lava lake, Bowser is going to absolutely snap me up like a turtle, right? And then I'm going to have to say, so long, King Bowser, and then make it a whole big thing, and it's it's just, it's a lot. So, anyways, I'm not going in the lava lake. I, well, at least I don't plan on going in the lava lake. Uh, but it does seem very interesting of an area to explore. So, once I light this up a little bit more, like I've been saying I'm going to do... Man, it's like Creeper Haven over here. Jeez, all right. That's, oh, 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 okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. We're all good. We're all good. Yep, okay, we're all good. Good. All right. So, now that we have, ooh, look at all this. Look at all this. Come on. Okay. So, all the other creepers are right there. They can't actually get me, which is wonderful. Where, ooh, there you are. Get over here. Yes, there we go. Anything else up here? Nah, there's only just one, dude. Come on. Do a little bit better than that. I don't know what the deal is with all the creepers over here, man. You, you'd think you were at, like, a convention or something with all these creepers looming around. All right. Uh, I saw diamonds before. I don't know where. So I'm just gonna yoink. Then go. Oh, there they are. There's two over there. Man, how on earth am I supposed to tackle this? All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually defeat them. It's like exclusively creepers. What? Dude, okay. It is exclusively creepers. It's like a world premiere right there. All right. Sure. There's that. I need to... I, you know what? I need to try for gunpowder eventually because all of the Elytra stuff is all revolved around gunpowder and I nearly just super died right there, so I need to be very careful. What is that? It's a skeleton? Okay. Um... I still need to get you out of the way. Yep, luckily the shield totally works. Come on. Yep. Yep, get back. That's fine. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. 
Look at us. Actually, it's not us anymore because I don't have the axolotls on me, so it's literally just me. Ooh, all right. I think one of those diamonds exploded, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like it did. Dang, really? That's unfortunate. All right, I'm going to grab that, though, and it's going to be all gravy. We're good? No creepers around me here. I did see another diamond, like I said, down by the lava lake. I'm going to try snagging that. Right, ooh, right, you see that one right in the middle of the lava? Wow, risking it for the biscuit there, Batman. And there's another one down there. Who baby. Who baby. But you see what I mean? Now it went from being very intimidating to like, nah, we good now, fam. We good now. All right, so it's right down here, correct? Correct, Amundo. Now, if I die, it's going to spawn my, um, my tombstone on the lava. Kind of like how it did in the nether there, which is totally fine. I'm okay with that. Look at this. Finally, give me some more. More! 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 No, dang, really? All right. So, how do I do this? Uh, probably this way? Probably this way? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Go, 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 go. Just like this. Gotta be quick so these skeletons don't snipe me. Man, this looks super... I, I'm just super enthralled with this, man. I, I haven't even seen this in uh, in other people's videos, in other worlds. Like, nothing. I just haven't seen this. It's super nice. I really picked a uh, very lackluster area for me to <laughs> for me to settle down in if there's areas like this, man. It's crazy. Crazy good stuff. All right. Anything else inside of here? Nothing. Well, I got seven diamonds now, so that's good. Anything else? Look, look, just look at this. It just... Yeah. It's oddly peaceful. Obviously, Bowser lives here, but like... Yeah. All right. I'm going to find more stuff while I'm here. What a massive, massive win on the part of actually doing this, man. Great stuff. Very, very satisfied with how this is all gone. And hopefully you've been satisfied with me playing this and doing the uh, the, the fast-forwarded commentary and all that. I know it's not as interesting as, I don't know, doing it live, but, like, you know, sometimes Minecraft, there's just not a lot going on, you know? You know what would have been great is if I made an ender chest? Then I could have just died. Oh, I should have done that. Yeah, I mean, well, having the ender chest... I don't know what just died over there. Uh, having the ender chest is good... In case I'm in a spot and I can just kind of, you know, get rid of myself and then pop back and I'm back home, no problem. There's another ender chest. So that might be something worth doing in the future. Instead of using those first couple of pearls uh, like before, uh, using them to find the actual fortress or stronghold quite yet might be a little bit smarter to make a bunch of, um, make a bunch of ender, ender chests so I can have them on hand. And until I have Silk Touch, I just won't be able to claim them back, which should be okay in of itself. So what I want to do now that I've investigated this whole area, it's cleared out, we're rocked and rolled, we're good. I am going to have to go back. I have plenty of stuff, seven diamonds on top of the, what, six I already have. So that's a decent spot. Not great, but decent. And especially with all the, the two axolotls and all the other stuff I got. I would say it's a fantastic haul today. So, let me just do one final perimeter check over here. I don't even know. I, I forget. I fell over toward that way. It's just weird how it all kind of all hit and went really, really, uh, really crazy in one go. It's very, very cool. I'm going to definitely have to come back here at some point because of just how incredible it is. Uh, I want to make sure I got every single little area kind of plugged up so that way I'm not leaving anything off the table. Maybe some diamonds over here. This little cavern. No, I hear something. I thought, oh, it's a spider. I'm like, wait, am I going to die right here right now again? But nope, just this guy. Cool. Oh, there's even more over here. Okay. Well, I only have five torches left. So actually I might be in a little bit of trouble because I got to get back and I got to have the coal and stuff on me too. So yeah, I've made note of this area though. I'll come back here someday. But I got to get out of here. So let me safely travel back home. If anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. Ooh, slimes. Cool. That's another thing I should probably do. I should probably grab these slimes and uh, take them for the little slime, little bits. 
little itty bits, you know? Those slime balls, those are gonna be helpful, I think, at some point. But yeah, there we go. That's uh, five of them there, beautiful. The hall keeps growing larger. So yeah, let me get back to where I need to be and I'll let you know if anything crazy happens. That could not have ended up any more perfect. So this goes directly to the mine shaft and the Bowser Lake. That's awesome. That's awesome. That is a direct pathway to it. Because I have my coordinates written down on this envelope, actually. They're written down right here. So I just looked at it, and I'm like, you know what? That's where to go. You can't, it's not focusing. Whatever. That could not be more perfect. I found a couple more diamonds on the way. So now I have 19, which is awesome. So these I'm going to toss in here for now. I have my two axolotls I'll put in the bucket, basically. All this stuff I'm going to put inside of here. Because I don't really need it right this second, but also having it on hand is uh, a liability. And I don't want to have any liabilities on me. So, now that I'm back here, actually, let's do this instead. Let me grab some of these. And I'm going to I'm gonna light up that entire way back. Because that's going to be just a little bit necessary. Given uh, I didn't have any torches toward, like, the last half of that. So I'm going to relight all that stuff. And then collect all that stuff. And then that's literally going to be it. I can't believe... That it pops out literally right there. Look at all the wheat, all the stuff. Wow. Because going through this way, like, it, it just... It, that wasn't the direction. Like, I, I looped all the way around, and I technically haven't gone that far. But, like, look at how... Look at how perfect that is, you know? It's literally perfect. Just walk right out here. Bam. So, I don't know if there's anything I could do over toward this way to, like... I don't know, develop something? Make it look cooler? I don't know. But yeah, look at all, it's just awesome. So yeah, little bits of diamond right here that I found. Nothing overwhelmingly crazy, but the fact that I can get to that mine shaft super easily is awesome. So thank you so much for being part of this. Like, look at this, it's right there, beautiful. And pop right back down here. And then it also goes right to the lush area and where that giant geode is as well. Wow, look at that, it's just so perfect. So, so perfect. And I'm only like 200 blocks away. I'm not actually that far. So it works out even more so. Torches go on the right-hand side because when I'm on my way back, that way I know which direction I got to look for in order to come back. And then bada-boom, all that progress made right there. Wonderful. So this would actually be a good spot over here probably to use an Eye of Ender. Actually, like somewhere in the middle, obviously not near the lava, but like using it around here so that way I can figure out what direction to go and then take it from there. So it's just super cool. Super cool. I want to thank you for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. Now that I have all this diamond, I wonder what I can do with it. I got 19, 20-ish diamonds. That's almost means that I can go and figure out where that uh, uh, netherite is. But until then, keep on meowing it out. I'll see you next time, all right? Bye.